So the Keynote 966 study is a very interesting study, basically uh, looking at the efficacy of immunotherapy in combination with chemotherapy in biliary tract cancer. So I think in the past we really had made a lot of progress in biliary tract cancer. For many, many years we just had one line of therapy available, evidence-based gemcitabine and cisplatin in the first-line setting. We did not really have an established second-line uh, treatment, and only with the um, ABC06 study, um, we basically um, were able to see the benefit of second-line therapy in biliary tract cancer. In contrast, um, it was quite obvious that in biliary tract cancer, we have a lot of genetic alterations that actually would allow targeted therapies. And there were many very interesting studies in the past uh, looking at, at the efficacy of um, targeted therapies in biliary tract cancer. In contrast to HCC, um, basically we have not seen so many studies with immunotherapy in cholangiocarcinoma. And based on the early data we have seen, um, it appears that hepatocellular carcinoma, the other more frequent liver cancer, is more sensitive to immunotherapy. But even in hepatocellular carcinoma, monoimmunotherapy was not really um, better than standard of care in the large phase three studies, and both um, phase three studies in the first and second line setting actually failed their primary endpoint. So in Hulangio carcinoma, we have seen a couple of smaller studies, um, both with immunomonotherapy in combination with chemotherapy and also um, dual checkpoint inhibition. Based on the data we have seen for the monotherapy, uh, it was quite obvious that just one checkpoint inhibitor would not be effective enough to really have a significant and clinically meaningful uh, benefit for our patients. So there was no phase three study which have ever looked at the um, efficacy of just um, monoimmunotherapy in cholangiocarcinoma. Based on data we have seen in, in, in early studies, um, small prospective studies, that the indication that um, Immunotherapy in combination with chemotherapy could be more effective in human carcinoma. And we have also seen very interesting data for um, PDL1 and uh, CTLA4 inhibition at ASCO this year. This was an Asian study um, which really showed some very interesting response rate and also a promising median overall survival. So, overall, I think there's clearly a rational to proceed with immunotherapy in Cholangio carcinoma. And in the Keynote 966 study now, it's a um, phase three study looking at the um, efficacy of pembrolizumab in, combina in combination with a standard of care gem cyta with encisplatin in the first line setting um, of Cholangio carcinoma. And um, this is a global study uh, recruiting, uh, which already have uh, started recruitment. And overall, I think there are more, almost 800 patients that will be included um, in this study. And overall, I think there's a very uh, huge interest in, in studies like this. And I'm very confident that re the recruitment will finish um, soon. And then we will uh, see and will hopefully get the first phase three evidence um, for the efficacy of immunotherapy in biliary tract cancers.